Oh, definitely. Uh, it's tough going on the road to win. Um, so just go out there and play your heart out. Uh, great game. I feel like it was a great game to watch. Uh, it was a great game playing in. Um, tough opponent. They weren't going away easy. So just to come out with adversity and come out with that win is a great feeling. I learned that uh, I can persevere, and with all the things that have been thrown my way, uh, me dropping a couple of interceptions, me blowing a couple of coverages, uh, that I still can have an opportunity to to put my team in the best position to win, uh, no matter what. Yeah, um, Mon was a great quarterback. Uh, he was obviously the best quarterback we've seen so far. Um, him going out there, slinging the ball, throwing for 300 yards, uh, something we didn't really plan on. But um, he's a great quarterback. He made a couple plays. Uh, I missed a, a lot of opportunities myself, um, made him even look even better. So um, a lot of opportunities left out there. But as um, long as we came out with the victory, it really doesn't matter. What's the message this week? Is it just correcting the things that went wrong and uh, you know moving on from Texas A&M and correcting the things that went wrong? Oh, definitely. Uh, correcting things that went wrong, uh, going to watch film over and over again. Uh, I already watched film at least twice. Um, so going to correct everything that we had, uh, make sure we got all the coverages back down, all the coverage that we blown, make sure we got that corrected. Uh, just talking with the guys and the coaches and uh, we're going to be in a meeting, talking about it, uh, basically just critiquing everything that we did so we can move forward. You've been pretty, about you've been pretty open. You say this is the best defense in the country. What, what do you guys have to do to get back to playing at that level? Uh, basically do what he said, uh, watch film, see what we can do to get better. Um, because we can't be the greatest defense in the country if we don't go critique ourselves and we don't go watch ourselves. And, and prepare better, um, watch what we did wrong so we can correct it and put ourselves in a better position to go win the game. Going back to that critique yourself, when you, when you and your teammates look back on, on Saturday night, what do you guys see without talking to the coaches? Do those coverage breakdowns that you can correct? Um, I mean, it's a lot of things. Uh, sometimes we have a coaching mindset as well. so. Everything that they see, like D line, see us do mess ups. We see D line mess up. Um, it's a lot of stuff that we see that can correct each other um, on the field that we knew that we messed up on. Um, like a lot of big plays, just, just like I said, we we take it in our own hands to go watch ourselves and critique ourselves. Uh, we don't always let the coaches uh, tell us what we did wrong. We already know what we did wrong. Oh, it was it was loud. It was what, 105,000 people? It was it was pretty loud. Um, and then they stayed the whole game as well because they didn't know who would win. So uh, that was that might be the craziest game I played in so far. Um, great environment. Uh, they had a great crowd. Um, that's why I like road games because going on going on the road, playing those great games, and still coming out with a victory no matter how many people they got screaming. Uh, it was a great feeling. Um, I feel like at the end of the day, we stuck with our plan. Um, I felt like their offense made a couple of changes that we wasn't used to seeing. Um, I feel like we, we, we stuck strong to our plan. Um, saw a couple of things that, that, that we left out on the field in the first half that we tried to go back and get in the second half. Um, great hard fought team that they had. So I feel like whatever plays we had, whatever plays they had, um, it was all about the team who wanted more. So that's why I feel like we won. Uh, what I got to say about it, just keep trying us. Um, we're a secondary, secondary that's hungry, uh, who, who wants the ball in the air, who wants to get those opportunities, uh, make a couple picks like me. I left, I left at least three picks out there. Um, like I said, I, I love quarterbacks that throw the ball. I don't want to just sit there and just run, run, run all day. Um, 
if if any team feel like they can expose us deep ball, um, I feel like they should go ahead and try it. Um, I feel like we have also the best secondary, not only the best defense, the best D line, best linebacker. I feel like we got the, our best uh, secondary as well. So um, all I can say is just if you feel like that we got exposed, uh, just try us. Oh, most definitely. Um, we got a lot to prove. Uh, just like the D-line got a lot to prove, the linebacker got a lot to prove, the defense got a lot to prove, the offense got a lot to prove. Nobody think that we can repeat a playoff uh, appearance again. So this whole team is, is still like the underdog, whether, believe it or not. Um, we got a lot to prove. We number two. We would love to be number one. So we still got a lot to prove. We got a lot to improve on um, as a team. So. I mean, it was a little bit of uh, both. Um, I was frustrated with myself and the way I was playing. A couple guys was uh, frustrated about the calls or whatnot. But um, everything that we did, uh, we adjusted um, based off what they're doing, seeing a lot of new things. So um, as, at the end of the day, we adjusted as a defense and uh, we made a couple big stops. A couple young guys going in there making big plays, uh, no matter what we call it, like Justin Foster and guys of that nature. So um, players make plays. Uh, whether we get frustrated or not, players make plays. Um, players go through adversity and perseverance. So I feel like that really didn't affect the game as much. I mean, uh, he felt like we got exposed, just like we felt like we got exposed. But um, it is nothing that we can't go back and correct and get better from. Um, I'm glad that we had a game like that so we can get better. Because for for me to think that we have a great defense already and us to get better is a scary sight to see.